Okay, in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to activate the the bleeding process on the E90. Or well, pretty much what I'll say, um, any BMW that has electric water pump. I'm not too sure the years or models, but I'm going to just indicate that. Um, that this will be the same process of activating the water pump. It's either or to check if the water pump's working or just to bleed out your um, your, your um, system from air bubbles. So this is the way yeah. I do it. Pretty much I'm going to get my key and turn it on to the on position or push it in. But before I do this, I'm going to make sure my uh, automatic headlights are off. They're on manual. Try to turn it turn off as much things as possible in the car because um, supposedly it could kill your battery. But I never had problems with my car being on for, for 30 minutes um, without killing the battery. So, but um, for those people that have a weak battery that don't know it, just unplug as much things as possible. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to push in the key without stepping on the pedal. I'm not stepping on the pedal yet. <clears throat> um, I'm going to push the, on, the button to the on position. If you guys got a key, just turn the key forward. Don't turn on the car. So we're going to push this. And you're gonna see all this come up, and then after that, um, just make sure your your um, your AC your heater's on to the highest on, and then uh, the heat's on to the highest, and the fans on to the lowest. We're gonna step on the the gas pedal right here for 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So that's like about 15 seconds. Remove my uh, feet off the gas pedal, and then that should activate the uh, the water pump. So it'll take a little while for it to um, to happen. You're gonna see this when you open the door. So let's check out the water pump. Okay, the water pump's already activated. As you can see, there's water coming out of here. So, just say if you did what exactly what I did right now, and there's no water coming out of here, and you don't hear no water pump squeezing. Um, right now, you're gonna hear hear the water pump turn real loud. Um, that means your water pump's not working. Well, you did something wrong. So just, just keep on doing it until you, you see the water come out of here. And uh, yeah, so that's how you bleed um, bleed out your uh, your um, cooling system and how to test your water pump if it's working. So let me know what you guys think. And um, <clears throat> my videos are gonna be uploaded real slowly not that much because um, I'm a truck driver now I drive all 48 states I travel now I'm on the road so most of the time I'm I'm in the states you guys are in <laughs> so in those damn truck stops passing through but um just um, hit me up with any questions or concerns I'll still be replying to you guys on questions um, on Facebook so don't be shy of that and uh, when I have home time, meaning when I come home every two months, um, I'll try to make a video like I did today. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, just let me know what video, what kind of video you want me to put up next. And um, this process does take um, like 15 to 16 minutes. You could put a a car charger on your battery if you don't want your battery to die but um like i said it all depends on how weak or strong your battery is because all of our batteries are not in the same condition like my battery